Okay, hello, welcome, and good new year to you. Hope you everything goes well in 2021. I've been thinking about artificial intelligence and its role in thresholding and segmentation. And I thought I'd just put together just a quick video that touches on the NVIDIA plugin for Slicer 3D. And I know mostly I do ImageJ and Fiji, but I want to show you this. The, the advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning are incredible. I mean, you'll know yourself from Facebook how easy it is for Facebook to tag a face uh, from any angle. And that's through the Deep Face project. Facebook piled a load of money into artificial intelligence and image analysis and facial recognition. And some of that kind of work is spinning out into more useful areas, I would think, uh, and particularly the way in which machines or computer software can recognize structures in biological and medical data. I've got a quick demo for you that uses the NVIDIA plugin for 3D Slicer, just to give you a feel for uh, what it is I'm talking about, how useful it might be, and we'll come back in later episodes of this channel uh, later in the year. But I hope you enjoy this one. This is just a quick demo of some AI artificial intelligence method for segmenting and thresholding a tumour. So here we've got in this volume an uh, unfortunate chap who has a brain tumour which you can see on this lower section here. See the tumour quite clearly here. Now in order to threshold and segment this tumour we need to define a particular set of intensities. So normally the way we would do this would be using the segment editor. I'm going to add a new segmentation and we just use a simple um, histogram method to threshold this. Okay, so we're going to give this uh, segment a colour here first of all. Hold on, let me just uh, change the colour here. Um, let's make it deep, kind of purple colour. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the very brightest intensity or trying to find a range of intensities where I'm only getting the tumour. But you can see as it starts to colour that there are other areas in the data which have the same colour as the tumour. And that causes a bit of a problem. Well, let's go with that sort of range of intensity values because it gets all of the tumour but of course it gets all of the skull as well and other parts of the brain but okay but the tumour's there anyway as you can see quite clearly let's just apply that that gives us a, a segment that we can see in the 3D window well, I'll have to turn the volume off in order for that to be seen. Okay, so we can see that there's the tumour in there. But we've got all this other stuff as well, which we don't necessarily want. If we had an algorithm that was trained to only see the tumour, that would help. And that's what I want to demonstrate next. If we go into the segment editor, and this time we're going to add a new segment, but we're going to use the NVIDIA Artificial Intelligence module. And we are going to choose an algorithm which is already trained, the tumour uh, T2. Or we'll change the, I'm going to switch this one off. Uh, we'll keep this one as green, okay. Uh, I'm going to just draw some points. I'm going to take these boundary points and tell the algorithm 
roughly where is the tumour, where is the boundary for the tumour and you see the points appear in 3D space here so we don't have to be too close kind of that would do click here and the algorithm would be trained with lots and lots of images like this okay so once I've got some outline points I will then select my start it will process okay and you see beautifully there it finds the tumour really rather well I would say so well, there's a couple of bits there that we could that we could cut out but I think you would agree that's pretty damn good and if we switch back on the volume we'll see it in position So that's using an AI, an AI, an NVIDIA AI module to segment a brain tumour and I think it does it rather well.